Hey guys, so um, this is just a, an update I'm going to do to kind of let you know what's been going on around here. Um, I'm making this for my laptop, so it's not going to be up to my usual standards. Um, so yeah, things have been pretty dire around here in Texas, uh, for, for some of us anyway. It started snowing just a few days ago. In fact, I made this little video about it. And so this is the weather we're having in Texas right now. Definitely not going to be doing any retro riding today, I don't think. Um, I think the current temperature is like 15 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to drop down to like zero uh, sometime tonight, which is uh, really bizarre for, <laughs> for around here. In fact, there's my usual retro riding spot. Just earlier that day, we had a 134 car pile up in Fort Worth with numerous deaths and dozens of injuries. And this sort of thing was happening all over the place. What I didn't know at the time was the worst was yet to come. You know, we've had light snow and ice like this in the past. I mean, we usually get it every few years. But uh, later that night, we had about the closest thing to a blizzard we, we, we've ever had around here in these parts. At least as long as I can remember. So then, the power went out. Now, this wasn't a total surprise to us because we had been told that there would probably be rolling uh, blackouts. But, the power went off for us, and uh, also for millions of other Texans, it just never came back on. <laughs> for days. And uh, we don't have any other way to heat homes because most of our homes here are heated with electricity. So we don't have any gas. We don't even have a fireplace. With the temperature falling to zero degrees Fahrenheit, uh, with no heat, uh, we decided to evacuate to my aunt's house about seven miles away. Fortunately, she still had power and also a fireplace to fall back on. Uh, we got to listen to the cats meowing in stereo the whole way there. So we ended up driving my daughter's Chevy Volt, which we had just bought her just a few weeks ago for her 18th birthday. And uh, uh, one of the problems was with our pure electric vehicles, there was simply no way to charge them up. And you might think, oh, well, in a crisis, uh, gas cars must be better. But the reality is all the gas stations were closed, too, because they didn't have any power for the pumps. So you really couldn't get gas and you couldn't get electricity. And, uh, you know, the interesting thing about the Chevy Volt, which I also drive a Chevy Volt, um, is in many ways they're great cars for crises like this because uh, if there's a shortage of gas, uh, you can drive on electricity. And if there's a shortage of electricity, you can drive on gas. Uh, the trouble is uh, my car um, was not even fully charged and the tank was almost empty uh, because I rarely put gas in my Chevy Volt. I usually don't keep more than a gallon in there because uh, it can go bad after you know driving around for six months without, without using any gas. So, but fortunately, because my daughter's Volt had just come from the dealership, it's not a full tank of gas, so <laughs> that's what we took. So we'd stayed two nights over at my aunt's house, and then I had noticed on my phone, I could see that my security cameras had come back online, so I knew the power was back on. So me and Pig Money headed back to the house to see how things were and to uh, get the heat turned back on. But uh, when I got back to the house, um, this is what I saw. Uh, there was water everywhere, uh, pretty much every room. Some rooms was just a very thin layer of water, and other rooms had about a half inch of standing water. It's a bit hard to see in the video because it's very reflective. I went back outside to turn the water off. Uh, the trouble is I couldn't find the shutoff valve because it was buried in the snow. So I uh, had to just poke around for a few minutes until I heard the sound of the plastic lid. Now, one interesting thing is if you look at the security camera footage, you can actually see exactly where the leak was. Uh, it was a faucet on the side of the house. Uh, or more like the, the pipe inside the wall leading to that faucet. Uh, because if you skip forward, you can see the snow is melted on the porch there, and you can even see this unusual spot forming in the yard uh, where the water flows downhill. Uh, fast forward a few hours later, and you can really see it. Several of my neighbors uh, offered to come help. Uh, some of them worked on shoveling the snow and ice to try to clear off the sidewalk leading to the studio, since uh, we were about to have to start moving stuff in there. Uh, while others helped us clear uh, basically everything out of the house. Uh, most stuff went into the garage and uh, also, unfortunately, into the studio building. Some stuff went to uh, next door to my mom's house, which thankfully was unaffected by this. A lot of the furniture, especially anything made of MDF that was sitting on the floor, just wicked the water right up into it and uh, is essentially ruined. Uh, we just started throwing everything that was ruined uh, into the front yard for now. Uh, we were very thankful for all the help we got during this crisis. It took about two days, but uh, we got the entire house cleared out pretty much. We've already got a cleanup crew scheduled, and uh, one guy already came out and did a preliminary inspection. And um, one of the things he did was to go around the house and test the walls for moisture. 
And uh, some walls were showing like 10%, some were showing around 17%, and the worst walls near the broken pipe were showing in the 20s and 30s, which is apparently saturated. So the plan is to pretty much treat this like a flood, so all the flooring has to go, and they're going to cut about a foot, maybe 18 inches off the drywall of every room and replace it. And, uh, you know, sadly, we just finished um, painting the old studio room and putting new carpet in there, and, well, that's all ruined, and, and <laughs> it's going to have to be redone. We're essentially going to live next door with my mom until this process is complete. Uh, Pig Bunny is starting to get used to living next door. Uh, she likes to watch the birds out of my mom's window. Um, I will say that one silver lining is that the only room in the house that didn't get flooded was my office room, which uh, doesn't look very tidy right now because we've moved a bunch of junk in there. But as you can see, all my collectibles are still fine up on the shelf. Uh, the thing is, this isn't going to be over for a long time. Uh, while power has finally been restored to most places, um, as you can see, the, uh, the store shelves are bare. I mean, I took this video just a few hours ago. Uh, most everyone's refrigerated food spoiled, and we also have no water in many places. And while uh, we have water here, uh, they say it's contaminated and not to drink it. Uh, almost all restaurants are closed, so it's, it's hard to find things to eat right now. So fortunately, I'm just a little bit of a prepper, so I try to keep at least, you know, a couple weeks worth of bottled water and non-perishable foods around in the house at all times. So, you know, we're not going to starve or anything, but uh, there are a lot of people in the area that are uh, suffering really bad right now because of, because of this problem. I mean, I have never seen anything like this around here in my entire life. I mean, this is totally unprecedented, but, uh, you know, we're going to get through it, though. Uh, the weather is supposed to finally get above the freezing point tomorrow. Things will start warming up, ice will start melting, and things will slowly start returning to normal. Unfortunately, it's going to take weeks, if not months, to get things back to normal for us uh, because of the house flooding. Now, I'm going to try over the next couple of weeks to get the studio, at least the one room, cleared out so that I can start making videos again. Um, but, uh, yeah, it may be a while. And uh, one last thing. I, I know there's probably going to be a lot of people offering to help, but the reality is unless you actually live here and you can actually come over and physically, like, you know, help us move stuff or help us repair stuff and, and things like that. There's probably not a lot that you can really do. And I don't need any money or anything like that. I mean, insurance is going to cover all of this. So, I mean, we're, we're good there. Um, but I, I do appreciate, you know, all the well wishes and, and all that kind of stuff. I mostly just made this video to kind of give people a first-hand look at what's really happening around here. I know you've been seeing stuff on the news, and, and believe me, it's not an exaggeration. It's, in fact, if anything, it's a little bit sugar-coated. I mean, I think it's actually considerably worse than what I've seen a lot of the, the news reporting on, on how, what the conditions are like around here. Because it's not just me. I mean, this is, this is, everybody is having a problem. And, you know, and of course, the other thing I just wanted to, to, to let everybody know in this video is that, you know, it could be a while before the next video comes out. And uh, also, I'm actually leaving my store open because uh, I think I'll start be able to ship stuff again maybe in a week or two. But I've already got a pretty big backlog. I mean, I already had, like, before the storm hit, I already had, like, two or three hundred uh, orders of Petsky robots that were already uh, pending that I needed to ship and I had like I had like 40 boxes already um, packed up and ready to go out uh, the night before the power went out and everything and they've been just sitting here for a while but fortunately a fan of mine that lives um, just down the street offered to come over and help and I'm like hey here's something you could do uh, take these <laughs> these 40 uh, boxes or so down to the post office and get those delivered so uh, some of you guys will still get your um, pesky robots here in a, in a few days. So anyway, the point is, uh, you can still order stuff, you'll still get your digital downloads, but uh, actual physical shipping stuff is, is going to be delayed. Um, so just keep that in mind. And if it's, a, if it's a real big problem for anybody, just let me know and I'll, I'll refund your order because, you know, I, I just can't promise you exactly when it's going to ship. But other than that, I, I think that's all I really wanted to cover for this video. Um, so um, I guess that's it for now. I'll hopefully uh, see you again in a few weeks. <laughs>